Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rick Smith Jr. Thanks for coming back over to the YouTube channel. We are still here at the Rocky River Branch Library in Rocky River, Ohio. We have Mary Ellen and Donna, two librarians from this branch. And we thought it would be a pretty cool place to teach you a magic trick because it's the first place I ever learned how to do magic. I checked out every magic book and none of my friends could. So make sure you guys go check your local libraries and get some books. But now that you are here at the channel, I thought I would share with you guys a magic trick and show you guys a magic trick for the very first time. So here's the deal. I have a deck of cards. So grab any deck of cards that you want and seriously, select any card you want, okay? But after you select the card, I want you to memorize it and then show the camera so I can't see it. Okay. All right, you ready? So any card you want, take one out. Don't let me see it. Memorize it and then show the camera. Now, do you remember the card? Yes. Show her. I you got think, it? Yes. I'm going to take the card. I'm going to put it about halfway into the deck. You got okay. it? Mm -hmm. I want you to think of that card. I'm really thinking. You're just really thinking. Okay, <laughs> so be honest with me. Seven uh, yep. of clubs was not your card. Nope. Okay. And be honest with me, the bottom seven of diamonds nope. was not your card. That was not it. So I'm going to mix the cards like this. Okay. okay. I'm going to have you cut the cards. Perfect. I want you to make a fist just like this. Just like this. Right, right there. Make a fist and then stick that right there in the middle. Perfect. Oh, okay. Right there. And hold right there. All now, right. do you remember your card? Yes, I do. So I have to find her card in a, in a way that not, not like every other magician going like, was this your card? Was this your I'm not going to do no. that. Okay. Um, now that you're holding the cards, all I'm going to ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wait a minute. I hit all the cards out of your hand. Yes, you did. <laughs> Except for one. Tell, wait, tell, before you turn it over, what was the card that you picked? A six of hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, the six Whoa. of hearts. Whoa, very good. Pretty cool, right? That was cool. Do you guys want to learn how this is done? So you can learn this magic trick by getting a magic book in your local library, or you can stick with us for a few minutes and I will teach you guys how to do this trick. You guys ready to do this? If you want, make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to the channel so we can bring more content like this to our channel. You guys ready? Right. All right, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this magic trick. So it's very important to choose your favorite deck of cards. When I'm performing magic, I always like to get a bicycle deck of cards from US Playing Card Company, um, but you can use any type of deck. There are cardistry decks, there are decks of cards that I use for card throwing that I keep in my magic store. So if you click this little I card right here, you can actually get your favorite deck of cards right now. So make sure you guys do that, and let's get into the trick. Okay. 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 So here's what's gonna happen. You have a shuffled deck of cards. It really doesn't matter uh, any the order of the cards. Okay. I'm gonna have her select a card, just like we did before, and you're going to memorize it. Memorize it. Okay. And show the camera. And pause. While she's showing everybody at home, all I'm doing is bringing this card up. On a side of you, it would look like this. Wow. Okay. So why I'm doing this is because when I unpause you, pa unpause, <laughs> you're gonna take that card, you're not gonna let me see it, you're gonna hold, hand it to me. Now it doesn't matter that I know it's the Six of Clubs now because I'm teaching you the trick. But I'm gonna take that card and place it about halfway into the deck. Now to everybody at home, this looks like it's going halfway into the deck. It does. But really, it's the second card. Wow. Wow, right? Yeah. So once this cool. card gets pushed all the way in, I square the cards up, and I tell the audience that your card is now lost somewhere in the middle of the deck. And I very clearly say it's lost in the middle of the deck to make them, remind them that the card is in the middle and not second from the top. Okay. So now what I do is I ask you, was this your card, the eight no, of hearts? No, no. I take the eight of hearts and I bury it into the middle of the deck, just mm -hmm. kind of like we did before, but I'm really showing them that it's going in the middle. Mm -hmm. That leaves your card now on top. I ask you, was the bottom card your card. No, it's not. not. So what I do now is all I'm going to do is an overhand shuffle, taking my thumb, putting it on this card, mm -hmm. putting it in my hand, mm -hmm. and just continue to take cards off the top of the deck. Overhand, just keep mixing the cards, keep taking that thumb and taking that top card off. Basically, it looks like I'm mixing the cards, but I'm keeping your card the on the bottom ah. of the deck. So again, to show you that one more time, the card gets put in the middle of the deck. Not really, just a second. Gets put in the middle of the deck. If you wanna learn to fall shuffle, I do teach different versions earlier in my channel, so you guys are gonna have to go do some research to find 
that. But you show them that the top card is not theirs. Mm -hmm. You put it in the middle of the deck. You show them that the bottom card is not theirs. Now their card is this top card, so you have to get that card to the bottom. So you're gonna take your thumb and your four fingers. You're gonna put your four fingers on the back, thumb here. All you're gonna do is pull that card down and then just continue to pull cards and let them fall on top. Basically, all this is doing is mixing all of the cards except for that one card that you want on the bottom. We now know the Six of Clubs is on the bottom of the deck. Now we have to find your card in a magical way. So I have somebody, Mary Ellen, I want you to cut the cards. Okay, she cuts the cards. Okay. I say, the cards are cut, I want you to hold the cards just like this. Like that. Now, do you remember where the Six of Clubs is? It should be at the bottom. At the bottom. Okay. But when you cut the cards, it does it does mess people up. They might think that the cards were cut oh. and then you're just holding the cards out of a, a shuffled pack of cards. But you were very careful that she took the top. <laughs> yeah, super careful. So now, let go, let go. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Donna, you're going to have the spectator hold the cards like this. Okay. So basically the cards are gonna go in between their pointer finger and their middle finger. You're gonna have them grip the cards like this. Okay? Okay. Now. You can let go for a second. Oh. So now that I have the spectator holding the cards in this position, all you have to do is slap the cards. Okay. When you slap the cards in slow motion, it's going to look like that. It's gonna oh. hold that one card, which is on the bottom. So um, just, just because we don't wanna keep cleaning the cards up, can you hold that for a second? Sure. So Donna, just so you can see how this works, I'm gonna hold the cards. I want you to slap them out of my hand. Slap them out of my hand. Okay. Yep. And look at this, you guys. One card Whoa. left in my hand. Good job. That was your card. That was it. That was the card. So do you understand how this trick works? Yes, I do. So to recap, Beautiful. to recap, just to show you guys this trick one more time so you guys can learn the mechanics and how the trick flows, I'm going to do it fairly quickly so Donna here can see the trick one last time. So Donna, you're going to take out any playing card you want. You're going to show the camera. You're going to show everybody at home, but make sure you know what that card is. While she's doing that, I am lifting that card up. Remember that. I'm bringing the card back. I'm placing it inside the deck. I'm not really placing it inside the deck. I'm keeping it second from the top. I push that card all the way in. I do a little false cut. If you don't want to do a false cut, the card's in the middle, leave it there. I ask, was this your card? You say no. Was this your card? You say no. All I have to do is get this card right here from the top to the bottom. So just bring those cards in an overhand shuffle all the way to the bottom of the deck. I have someone cut half the cards away. She holds the cards. I tell the spectator to hold the cards just like this. You hold the card like this. All you have to do, yep, all you have to do is the cards are held, you hit the cards, and one card, your card, the Jack of Hearts, That's it. would be the card. <laughs> And you get that reaction, even though she's seen the trick twice <laughs> wow. now. That's how you do this magic trick. So go get a deck of cards, try this trick. You guys are gonna have a blast with it. Fool your friends and family. Okay, before we leave, here at the Rocky River Library, I thought I would show you guys one last trick that we saw in one of the books. It reminded me of a trick that I used to do as a kid. So I want you guys to grab a toothpick. Okay. After you have the toothpick, I'm gonna have you hold the toothpick in front of your friend's eyes, and then boom, it disappears. And then you bring it right back for that cool reaction. So, you wanna learn how this one's done? You guys have made it here to the end of the video, so might as well show you. So this is what you gotta do. Take the toothpick, and you're going to press it into your skin, okay? That'll actually let that stay there, okay? Just from the sweat on your hand, that'll let you stay there. So when you're holding it to the audience and you flick your hand back, the toothpick stays on the back of your hand. When you close your thumb, you're actually grabbing it and sharing with them the toothpick. So really, you guys could do this with everyday objects. So grab a toothpick, it's so much fun. Make sure you guys make it dis- <laughs> oh, no. oh, To end this, I just stabbed myself with the toothpick. But if you want to learn it, remember, go on, show it, and make it come back. Wonderful trick that will fool your friends and family. I 
guarantee it. So remember, we're gonna be at Magic Live and we're gonna see some of the best magicians in the world. So if you guys wanna see some of these magicians, make sure you guys write a comment below who you would like to see on our channel and I will ask them personally while I'm at Magic Live in Las Vegas the first week of August. If you guys haven't already subscribed to our channel, please click the subscribe button right over here. If you guys wanna get any card throwing merch or other magic tricks, click this button right over here. And if you wanna see last week's magic trick, click this video right over here. We hope you guys had fun. We'll see you in the next one. What? <laughs> I got that on the video. <laughs>